Lax and Benz. Lax and Benz. How many of us have them with big so, rims? Big rims, baby. Big rims, baby. Now, once you can depend on. 97.9 Car Show. What didn't happen with Pimp. Okay. I understood the problem. You know, the fans didn't know what was going on. And uh he felt disrespected by him. And he he wasn't he wasn't being disrespectful for the artist they wanted him to open up for, but he was like, man, I'm not finna open up for nobody in Houston but Prince or Michael Jackson. Period. So nah. Y'all can stop playing my music if you want to. I won't be on that car show. And he wasn't on that car show. But that was kind of cold. That boy said, I ain't opening up for nobody in Houston but Prince or Michael Jackson. Nobody. And y'all can figure out the time frame of that, who was hot at that time. And that's going to be on y'all. But uh, yeah, it was it was cold. <laughs> and uh, it, was, it was funny, though. It was real funny. That boy, that was so funny. He was a character. <laughs> A real live character, yeah. Yes, he was. Church. I don't know if it was his mama's 60th birthday or her 65th birthday, but um, I was like the designated barbecue person. I barbecued all the time. He loved my barbecue, and um, that was just it. So we at Sam's. Pimp went and got the card from mama, and um, it's like, well, here go, here go my Sam's card. I use that to get what you need. He thinking that she said use this to get what you need. He thinking it's a credit card or something, but he didn't realize it was a membership for Sam's that you had to present. So we had to register, and I mean, I don't know if you ever seen it, but we had a, about two slabs of an uncut ribeye. We had pork loins the size of my arm, pork chops about that thick. It was like a thousand dollars worth of meat. So we had to register with a basket full of just meat at Sam's. So his, his brother here is arguing with the cashier. Talking, I got money on this card. My mama gave me this card. So he's like, well, no, sir. They don't put money on these cards. And I say, yeah, she right. They don't do it like that. He's like, Ed, you got some cash on you? Really? I'm, I, I just got $1,000 on me like that. Nah, I ain't got $1,000. He said, man, just stay right here. Don't let nobody take my place. I'm going to go check my dirty clothes. He gone about 10 minutes. I'm looking real foolish standing in this line at Sam's in Beaumont, Texas. Looking like I got insufficient funds. He came up with $1,500. He's like, man, Ed, I got all this out of my dirty clothes. I'm like, you had... $1,500 in your dirty clothes. He's like, yeah, man. You know, I just went and dug through all my pockets and started getting all them hundreds out in. Man, it came up to $1,500. Unbelievable. But that's just how he was. He could find $200 easy in this car. Just from change he done dropped down. I mean, ain't talking about no quarters or nothing like that. A 20 or 10. Uh, but, uh, yeah, when he would go to the car wash... That was them boys' tip. Whatever they found, they could keep. Simple as that. L.A. The coldest thing I ever saw was when Nelly left a senator hanging to come and speak to Pimp C. We got a... Um, Pimp was doing a... Um, I don't know, I think it was a, a track he was doing for, for um, I don't know this joker name, he's from Atlanta, and I don't forgot his name. Anyway, he was doing a track for this dude with him. So we had the studio where they were, and, and Nelly people came over, Big Grip, what's up Grippy? Uh, he came by and said, hey man, Mo wanna holler at you. He was like, Mo, who is Mo? He said, man, Nelly, Nelly wanna holler at you, he had this other studio down the street. So man, we get to the studio, Nelly had like a tables of just fruit from the entrance door all the way to the studio. It's like unseen stuff. So Pimp was like, man, how come I ain't got nothing like this? I like fruit. So he like, man, we gonna have to talk to these people. It's like, 
Jive, you tripping, man. I need fruit in my suite when I'm in the studio. <laughs> so, you know, at the time, Nelly was in there talking to this black senator from California. And when he looked up, he said, man, hold on. I got to go holler this legend. Nelly ain't never went to go back and talk to that senator. He left him hanging. And, uh, you know, you look online and you might see a picture of Pimp and Nelly. That's from that, that situation right there. Um... Uh, same time we was out there, we at the studio. It was around the time um, the American Idol was going on. I think it was like right after Fantasia when the little white girl, Kelly Clarkson, I believe is her name, had just won. Or she was in a finalist and she was in the studio. So, you know, American Idol had, they done took all the parking lots, had done took the best suites and everything. So uh, we ended up going to like the suite where I think Michael Jackson did um, his verse for We Are The World. And you know, it was me, Pimp, Farnsworth, Bentley, and the, the sound engineer is like, man, Michael Jackson had a room built just for his monkey. And so Pimp was like, man, you lying. So we end up going up there. We see the room, the little Joker had a window where the little monkey could sit. And Pimp, he hanging out the window talking about, Michael, Michael. <laughs> So we almost got kicked out of there because we wasn't supposed to be in there. It was reserved for the American Idol and that's pretty much what they told us. And when they said that, everybody just bust out laughing. American Idol pimp was like, I'm the American Idol. Yeah, I ain't got that reserved for me. <laughs> so, you know, it was, it was, it was funny. It was a whole bunch of memories, man. A whole bunch of memories. You know, I'm gonna I'm think of some more for y'all, but I think that's enough for now. Yeah. I'm a big body swan, go watch me stain the lane up When I show watch that candy paint, that change up They know my whip before they throw my name up Hollywood in the ghetto, we done banged the game up